If you have a tight neck, stiff shoulders, a tight upper back, these two stretches will be the best things for you. And if you want more content like this on fitness and nutrition, make sure you subscribe. These two stretches I would recommend doing every single day, especially if you have tightness. Now I train a lot of firefighters. There's a lot of shoulder stiffness in firefighters because of how much work they do with their shoulders. These two stretches are mobility exercises that help you with your range of motion and your mobility and decrease the stiffness in your T-spine, your thoracic spine. What you're gonna do is you're gonna lay down on your side and you're gonna put your bottom leg straight, and your top leg is gonna be at a 90 degree angle on top of like a foam roller preferably, or you can use a couple pillows or another item as well. You're gonna take your bottom hand, straighten it out below you, and your top hand is going to be clapped down on top of it. From that position, you're gonna open up that top hand while looking across, rotating your body as far as you can, and you have to make sure you keep your top knee on that foam roller or on that item. From that position, if you get to a sticking point, hold it for two to three seconds, then return back to the starting point. And then do it again, open it up all the way. Keep that knee down and then bring it back and rest. That is phase one of this mobility exercise. Phase two, same exact starting point. You have your hands on top of each other. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your top hand and you're gonna drag it on top of the ground, just above your head, go as far as you can. And the rule here, Keep your hand on the ground for as long as you can. Once you get to a point where it feels like it's gonna come off the ground, stop. And then start dragging it back to the starting point. Do it again. Drag your hand, looking at your hand, rotating as far as you can, keeping that knee down and your other arm down. If you get to a sticking point, stop. And then drag it back. Recognize how much range of motion you have at each of these points. And I guarantee you, you do this for a couple weeks, you will feel better and you will see significant change in your overall range of motion. Try these out, let me know how it goes.